It was a martial spectacle for a man who's declared he's winning a war against El Salvador's gangs. Nayib Bukele's speech to the nation marked his fourth anniversary as president. Most of it was focused on what's become his signature policy. Now, the state of exception approved by Congress has finally allowed us to enjoy peace. Four years later, we're not the same. Now, at last, Salvadorans can think of more than not being killed. These are the images he'd like you to see from the last 14 months in which a state of exception has given security forces free reign to arrest and imprison people. A new maximum security prison is full and neighbourhoods which were once gang strongholds now springing to life. Bukele's approval ratings have shot up as the murder rates have plunged. Many are grateful for respite from the killings, rapes and extortion. But a report came out this week too, from one of El Salvador's best known human rights organizations. It tells another story of the crackdown. Is it paints a picture of a penal justice system that is no longer a penal justice system. It's more of a type of a concentration camp in which soldiers and police and prison guards and attorney generals decide who goes free, who stays uh, in prison, who lives, who dies. Uh, and torture uh, at their pleasure. The report alleges there have been widespread beatings, torture, and more than 150 people who've died in El Salvador's prisons since March 2022. We've documented multiple cases uh, of deaths simply because they weren't able to have access to medical care to treat the wounds. Um, an example is of a man uh, who was beaten in his torso so badly that his stomach filled with blood and he couldn't eat anymore and ended up dying of starvation. And anybody in the wrong place at the wrong time could enter that world. Under the state of exception, security forces can arrest people merely on suspicion of having committed an offence. Police have admitted they have quotas. Once in prison, Christosel says detainees can be held for up to two years before trial. But those criticisms don't appear to worry President Bukele or his supporters. Re-election, they chanted. Through it all, the presence of the army, both inside and outside Congress, was as significant as his words, giving no doubt about who's in near total control of El Salvador. John Holman, Al Jazeera.